Do you know the regulatory steps to market medical devices in South Korea as a foreign manufacturer? Well, it's not as complex as it might seem, but it does require a systematic approach and a keen understanding of the regulatory landscape in South Korea. First and foremost, you need to appoint a local authorized representative. This is a person or an entity based in South Korea who will be your liaison with the MFDS. This representative, also known as an in-country caretaker or a Korea license holder, is tasked with ensuring regulatory compliance, registering your medical devices with the MFDS, facilitating communication with authorities, vigilance and post-market surveillance, record-keeping, and possibly providing product representation. It's important to note that your local representative should have a deep understanding of the Korean Medical Device Act and related regulations, have experience in regulatory affairs, and possess the ability to communicate effectively with the MFDS and other stakeholders. Next, you must ensure your medical devices comply with Korean standards. This means your devices must meet safety, efficacy, and quality standards, including the common technical document format for registration. The third step involves preparing all necessary technical documentation. This can include product descriptions, specifications, safety and efficacy data, and clinical trial information. In South Korea, the classification of medical devices is determined by the risk associated with the device, similar to many other regulatory systems. The classification system generally includes Class 1, Class 2, Class 3, and Class 4 medical devices, with Class 1 being the lowest risk and Class 4 being the highest risk. Manufacturers can determine the classification of their medical device by referring to Regulations on Medical Device Approval, Report, and Examination, which includes detailed criteria for classification. Additionally, manufacturers can submit a query for medical device category classification to the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety to determine the classification of their device. Finally, your manufacturing and quality control processes must meet the standards set by the MFDS. This is crucial to ensure the quality and safety of your medical devices. In South Korea, the Medical Device Quality Management System QMS regulations or KGMP are based on ISO 13485, 2016. All medical device manufacturers are required to comply with these QMS regulations if their devices are distributed within the country. On-site audits are mandatory for manufacturers of Class 2, 3, and 4 medical devices, while they are elective for Class 1 device manufacturers. The MFDS emphasizes the importance of quality and has aligned its QMS regulations with international standards, including ISO 13485, to manage medical devices effectively. This alignment facilitates the management of the overall life cycle of medical devices and ensures that the regulatory system is harmonized with global regulations. So, to recap, appoint a local authorized representative, ensure compliance with Korean standards, prepare your technical documentation, classify your device, and make sure your manufacturing and quality control standards are up to par. By following these steps, you can navigate the process of marketing your medical devices in South Korea with confidence and success. It's a journey that requires diligence and attention to detail, but with a clear understanding of the requirements, it's a journey that can lead to exciting opportunities in the South Korean medical device market. In the next step of your journey, you'll need to apply for a medical device manufacturing import certification. This is a crucial step in getting your medical devices approved for the South Korean market. You'll submit your application to the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety. This application should include vital details such as the product name, the classification number, the shape and structure of the product, the raw materials used, the manufacturing method, and the intended purpose of use. Don't forget to include any other relevant information that can support your application. Remember, this certification is a testament to the quality and safety of your product, so ensure every detail is accurately represented. It's a meticulous process, but a vital one for your entry into the South Korean medical device market. If you have specific questions, comment them below. Stay tuned for more country-specific regulatory steps.